Let's continue on with the planetary gear. And I'm going to end up creating three different analyses, a reduction and overdrive and a reverse reduction. And one of them is not gonna work and I don't know why. Hopefully someone will be able to figure it out and we can work on this together. But anyhow, for the various different inputs, I'm going to have to apply motors to different joints and lock other different joints. If you take a look at the joint names over here, I've got connection one a couple times and connection three, three times. It's going to be hard for me to figure out what those different things are when I'm selecting them in the graphics area. So I'm going to get out of mechanism mode and go back to standard assembly mode. I'm going to rename the connections just so I can tell which ones are which. So let's select the first component, the internal spur gear and edit definition. If I go to the placement tab, here we have it called connection one for the pin. And again, I can't tell what that is because there's another connection one. So let me rename the set here. Let's call this the connection ring and then hit the check mark, so that's good for that one. Let's go to the sun gear and edit definition of that one. Go to the placement tab, select connection one over here, and let's rename this. And let's see, here we have the planet carrier, edit definition of that one. Here's our connection two. And I don't think I really care about the planet gears, but let's just rename them anyways so that we are consistent. All right, hop back over to mechanism mode, applications, mechanism, and I don't need that column there. Now when I expand my connections and then go into joints, there we go. Now it makes a lot more sense what I am dealing with here, especially later on, or in a moment, I'm going to start applying my motors. And so to create the motors, I find the easy way to do that is to start off by selecting the uh, pin connection in the graphics window. And then from the mini toolbar, I can choose to create a motor. And here I'm going to define the angular velocity. Let's go to the profile. Let's just do a constant velocity of 90 degrees per second. I'll go to the properties tab. And this one, I selected the ring. And actually, the ring is never going to be an input. Let me actually remove that and then select. I want to make sure that I am grabbing the sun gear. There we go. And now I can go over here. Let's call this the sun motor. and hit the check mark. The other object that I want to be an input is going to be the planet carrier. And so for the planet carrier, again, let me use query select. There's the connecting ring, there's the sun gear, and here's the carrier. So I'll select that and let's create a motor. And again, for the profile, let's define an angular velocity of 90 degrees per second and this is going to be the planet carrier motor and then we can hit the check mark or middle mouse button so I have my motors defined over here for the first situation we're going to take a look at making this a reduction and so for the first analysis let's go to mechanism analysis and I will call this reduction and let's change the type to a kinematic analysis uh, let's see I'm gonna start from the snapshot that I created in the first video and for a reduction gear 
the lock we're going to lock an entity we are going to lock the connection for the ring so let me go over here and there's the one for the connecting ring i'm really glad that i renamed them so here we have the connector ring locked uh, let's see let's do this for 20 seconds that'll give us five rotations let's increase the frame rate Uh, let's do 25. Now let's go to motors and for the reduction situation the sun motor is what we want so let's select the carrier motor and click on the icon to remove that one. So that is good and so everything looks fine in here. Let's hit the run button. And in this situation, the output is the carrier. Let me click OK out of here, and I'm going to rotate it. The reason I put these little grooves into the ring was so that you could see it run. So let's go to the analyses and find our playback and hit the play button. And play it. Let's crank up the speed. So you can see in this situation, we are driving the sun gear and the ring is remaining stationary and the output would be from the planet carrier. So that's good for that one. It looks fine. Uh, next up, let me go to my snapshot so everything gets repositioned back to the way that it should at the start where the teeth look nice and meshed. For the second analysis, let's do an overdrive. So let's go to the mechanism analysis and I'm gonna call this one overdrive. Let's change the type of analysis to kinematic instead of using the old position analysis. We'll do the same 20 seconds and same frame rate as before. Let's select our snapshots. And for the overdrive, the motor that we want to use in this case is going to be the carrier. So let's select the sun motor and remove that one. And the locked object is actually going to be the sun gear in this situation. So let's click on the create connection lock. And let me grab, tapping the right mouse button. There we go, there's the sun gear connection click the OK button and so everything looks good for this one let's click the run button okay and this is the one that's not working correctly you can see that the gears are not spinning the way that they are supposed to uh, and the output in this situation is supposed to be the ring let me click the OK button again and just go to the playback for this one and show you so again, I don't know what is wrong in this situation. So again, you can see that it's just it's just driving this, but the actual planet gears are not rotating around the sun gear like they should. So again, if someone knows the correct way to simulate this, please let me know because I do not. All right, let's go back to the drag and put everything back into its original starting location. And for the final one, Let's do a reverse reduction. So let's go to mechanism analysis. Let's call this reverse reduction. And change this to kinematic. Run the analysis for 20 seconds. Frame rate 25. Let's use our snapshot. And go to the motors tab and for the reverse reduction, we're going to use the sun motor. So let's get rid of the carrier motor. And in this particular situation, we are going to lock the planet carrier itself. So let me go to here and tap the right mouse button. There we go. There we have the connection for the planet carrier. Everything looks good in my definition. Let's click on the run button. And it's a little blurry, but we can see that, you know, this is spinning and engaging the teeth. And I'm going to click the OK button out of here. Let's go to the playback. And I'm just uh, taking a look from the other side just to make sure that 
we wanted the carrier to be stationary. So I'm just going around over here. Yep, it is not moving. And we can see how the teeth are moving along there. And the output is the ring in this particular situation. So let's hit the stop button out of there. And so with the planetary gear, uh, if you have two of the objects lo locked, then you are going to get the same output as the input and where you get the different variations is based on what you have fixed and what you have as the various different inputs and again if someone can figure out why the overdrive is not working please reach out to me or let me know in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindshield.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.